All right, I'm Mr. Johnson, and today we're going to be learning about the chop saw. Before we head into the shop, make sure you have your safety glasses on. You might be wondering why safety is important, but take a look at my friend Jalen over here. He wishes he had this lesson a lot sooner. A chop saw is a very dangerous tool, and as you can see, my friend Jalen learned the hard way that it can take your hand off. Before you decide to use a chop saw, make sure that you have a face shield and pliers on hand. So here we have the chop saw, or some like to call it the abrasive saw. The chop saw can be used to make quick cuts, even though it doesn't always make the most precise cuts. The chop saw should always be stored in the downward position and all shields should be in place so that no part of the blade is showing. Additionally, the chop saw should be unplugged so that if anybody walks up to it and accidentally triggers it, the blade doesn't come. So when you're getting ready to use the chop saw, there's a key back here that you have to pull out and then you're able to lift up the saw. So the chop saw you can cut straight or you can also cut at angles. If you want to come closer and see here, um, this can be adjusted here. I could do at a 15, a 30, or a 45 degree angle here. But today we're just going to be doing a straight cut. So now as we're getting prepared to uh, cut our piece of metal here, we got to make sure that our back stand is fastened all the way down and then we'll slide our piece of metal in here and make sure that it's fast and snug here. And we can lock it into place like that. So now that it's fast and snug, we're going to take a look at our blade and when you look at the blade, you always want to make sure that your chop saw is not plugged in so you don't end up like Jalen. So you make sure there's no major nicks or anything wrong with the blade and that it's, it's turning properly. Alright, now that our metal is snug in place and the machine's been inspected, we can plug it in. Alright, when you uh, cut your metal, you're going to want to bring it up to full speed before you bring it into the metal. You want to leave it in the downward position until the blade stops turning before you lift it up. Now when you go to pick up your metal, your metal is going to be hot, so you're going to want to use the pliers to pick it up so you don't burn your hand. And that's how you safely use a chop saw.